What's going on guys, my name is Matt, and like a lot of people, I'm constantly tweaking and upgrading my personal computer, whether it's something as simple as changing a fan to as complex as changing the entire platform for which my computer is operating on, I put a lot of thought and care into selecting each part. When I first came across the Johnsbo C2 on r slash small form factor PC, I knew it was the case for me. With a full aluminum build, compact size, and a price tag of only $60, this at the time appeared to be a Goldilocks case. This was until I started to use it. With only one intake at the bottom of the case and no active exhaust other than the power supply, I realized this case should have actually been named the hot box. So after a few weeks of high temps and loud fan noises, I knew something needed to change but I wasn't quite ready to give up on the C2. So what I did was mod the case by adding a place for an extra 120mm fan in the top as exhaust. 100 holes drilled later and the mod was a success. This was the first time I had ever done something like this so I was pretty happy with the results. The mods resulted in lower temps and a slightly quieter system, but because of the still restrictive airflow and minimal room for an adequate cooler, I knew it was probably time to part ways with the C2. So what I decided to do is switch up my PC case for something with much better airflow and the ability to house a much beefier cooler for higher overclocks and quieter operations. Meet the Cooler Master Elite 110. This guy's got a very similar layout to the C2, but flipped on its side and with vent holes everywhere. Not only this, but the Elite 110 actually has room for a 120mm liquid cooler, which is a huge step up from the old style Wraith cooler I was using before. The 110 has a toolless three-sided shroud for easy access to the internals, which is a big step up from the screw-based panel mounting on the C2. So with my new case in hand, I knew it was time to start disassembly of my system. I've made a few videos about my system in the past, but for those of you who don't know, my personal rig is rocking a Ryzen 7 1700 sitting inside of the ASRock B350 ITX motherboard with 16GB of 3000MHz RAM. For storage internally, I've got a 500GB OCZ VX500 and a 500GB Samsung 960 Pro. My GPU is the Zotac GTX 1070 Ti Mini and powering everything in the system is a Corsair SF450. Overall, it may not be the most high-end system ever but for me it's a dream to own and I love using it every day. Once my system was completely torn down I started reassembling it into the Elite 110. Building in small form factor cases definitely takes a lot of forethought and planning but for me personally it's probably the most rewarding form factor to build because you're trying to cram as much computing power in as little space as possible. Building in the Elite 110 went pretty smoothly and I was happy to see my upgraded cooling solution fit right into place. In terms of a cooler upgrade I went with the Cooler Master Master Liquid Light 120, which is a budget-oriented liquid cooler that still performs really well. I may have opted for a more premium model with sleeve tubing and RGB, but because my case doesn't have a side panel window, the practicality and affordability of the Master Liquid Light 120 made the most sense. With everything installed, I did my best to quickly tidy up cable management, but as long as the cables weren't interfering with airflow or any fan blades, I was a happy camper. Now that my system is inside of the the Elite 110, it has direct airflow to the GPU, direct airflow to the CPU liquid cooler, and overall is running much cooler and quieter. This case and cooler upgrade allowed me to get a few hundred megahertz increase on my CPU and a decent bump in clock speeds for my GPU, all while staying relatively quiet even while under full load, especially compared to the C2. The Elite 110 is definitely slightly larger than the C2 at 15 liters of volume versus 12, but the added space was well worth it and even leaves me room to expand storage wise in the future if I want. For now, I'm pretty happy with the Elite 110, but if that changes, I'll be sure to move on to another case in my never ending quest to build my dream computer. So yeah guys, I think this wraps this video up, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as well as consider subscribing for more PC and tech related content in the future. And as always, this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.